All right, quiz number three, two-star difficulty, medium level. Number one, what was Luke's profession? Number two, what was Paul's trade? Number three, name the slave in the New Testament who ran away from his master. Number four, who had a rod that budded? Number five, who, where were the disciples first called Christians? Number six, what street did Saul live in at Damascus? Number seven, to whom did the Lord say, get thee behind me, Satan? Hmm, is that a trick question? We'll see. All right, let's do the answers now. The answers, quiz three, medium, two-star difficulty. Number one. What was Luke's profession? Okay, and by profession there, they mean job, not was his profession, like something said, but what was his job? Okay, the answer is found in Colossians, Colossians 4.14. Colossians 4.14, Luke, the beloved physician, and Demas greet you. So we get so Paul lets us know that Luke was the beloved physician. He was a physician. That was his job. That was his profession. That is the answer. Uh, number two, what was Paul's trade? Paul's job. Okay, that answer is going to be found in, whoops, in Acts. Let me get back. It's in Acts 18, verses 1 through 3. After these things, Paul departed from Athens and came to Corinth and found a certain Jew named Aquila, born in Pontius, lately come from Italy with his wife Priscilla, because that Claudius had commanded all Jews to depart from Rome and came unto them. And because he was of the same craft, he abode with them and wrought, for by their occupation they were tent makers. Tent makers. So he, his trade was that of a tent maker. All right, that's an Acts, uh, Acts 18. I almost said Exodus. Um, but Acts chapter 18 is where we found that answer. All right, number three, name the slave in the New Testament who ran away from his master. The answer is in Philemon, or Philemon, or however you want to pronounce it. I say Philemon because I think it sounds the best that way. Uh, it's in Philemon, verses 10 and 15 to 16. I beseech thee for my son Onesimus, whom I have begotten, in my bonds. Verse 15, for perhaps he therefore departed for a season that thou shouldest receive him forever. Not now as a servant, but above a servant, a brother, beloved, especially to me, but how much more unto thee, both in the flesh and in the Lord. Okay, so it, it's, it lets us know that Onesimus is the one he's talking about. Um, and that he, I guess, ran away it says, name a slave in the New Testament who ran away from his master. Unprofitable, but now profitable to me. Which time passed to thee was unprofitable, but now profitable to thee and to me, whom I have sent again, now therefore to him that in my own bowels, whom I have retained with me, that in thy stead he might have ministered unto me in the bonds of the gospel. But without thy mind would I do nothing that they benefit should not be as it were necessary but willingly, for perhaps he therefore departed for a season that thou shouldest receive him forever. Not now as a servant, but above a servant. So I guess that's where you get the slave idea. Not now as a servant, slave, but above a servant, a brother beloved. So, okay, I guess that, yeah, that can be the answer. That's what they say the answer is anyway. All right, number four, who had a rod that budded? That's an answer is in numbers, numbers 17.8. Number 17, 8. And it came to pass that on the morrow Moses went into the tabernacle of witness, and behold, the rod of Aaron for the house of Levi was budded, and brought forth buds and bloom blossoms and yielded almonds. Okay, so uh, whose rod was it? It was Aaron's rod that budded. Number 5. Where were the disciples first called Christians? You should know this if you've seen my previous videos. I actually just made a video on where this answer is. And the answer is in Acts 11. So if we go to Acts 11 and verse 26. 
And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. And the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. So where were the disciples first called Christians? In Antioch, which is where uh, the good Bibles come from. Antioch. All right. Next question, number six. What street did Saul live in at Damascus? What street did Saul live in at Damascus? This is before he became Paul. The answer is found in Acts chapter 9. Come on, Acts chapter 9 and verse 11. And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the street which is called Straight, <clears throat> and inquire in the house of Judas for one called Saul of Tarsus, for behold, he prayeth. So the street's name was Straight, the Straight Street, Street, Straight, Straight. The answer is straight. All right, number seven. To whom did the Lord say, get thee behind me, Satan? Now, the reason I said that, you know, is that a trick question? Is because if he says, get thee behind me, Satan, it's like he's he's saying it to Satan. Uh, but the answer is going to be found in Matthew 16, 23. Matthew 16 and 23. Whoops. But he turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art an offense unto me, for thou savest not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. So he said it to Peter physically, but perhaps spiritually there was a satanic element pushing Peter to, uh, to misbehave and say the wrong things and act the wrong ways. Um, at any rate, Peter is the answer that they have here because he's the person Jesus said it to whether or not you think he was speaking to Satan through Peter um, you know that's that's up to you and your theology but the answer of the actual person he said that to would be Peter and we found that in Matthew 16 23 so that concludes the quiz and answers for quiz three two-star medium difficulty